morning everyone it's Nami Kanaika from gospelthroughwords.com it's a beautiful Sunday I'm excited to speak about the Word of God with you I take every opportunity not for granted but that God has given that I can speak the Word of God speaking the Word of God is so powerful my brother and sister speaking the Word of God is so powerful and I want to encourage you today and tell you that God gave his God gave his son Jesus Christ his only son who was the king of kings and the lord of lords our God our father in heaven gave his best for you and me that was his son Jesus the best sacrifice that he can give to save you and me in Matthew chapter 1 it says in verse 21 and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. The lowly baby Jesus was born in Bethlehem, but he was the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, God's only son. God gave him as a gift for you and me. And this Christmas time, we remember the sacrifice that he gave in giving his only begotten son as a gift for you. So you and I, we don't have the penalty of sin and bondage anymore. We have been set free. So today, I want to consider in my heart, I want you to consider in your heart, what is the best that you can give him? What is the best that you can offer to God, to the Lord Jesus? this Christmas time. We can offer him our tithes, we can offer him our offerings, we can offer him our worship, we can offer him everything that we have. But most of all, what he is seeking is your heart and my heart. He says in the word of God in Mark chapter, 20, uh, chapter 12 verse 29. Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. If you want to give him a sacrificial offering this Christmas, what the Lord God Almighty, what the Lord Jesus is asking you is all for your heart. To love him with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Is it something hard for us to do, my brother and sister? To love our God above everything else, above the desires of our heart, above the pleasures of the world, above everyone we love, to love our God in the first place. And then the second commandment he gives us is to love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. Our Lord Jesus says, it's so simple. All I want is your heart to love me with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. This Christmas season, can we do that? Can we love our God with all our hearts, serve him with all our hearts, and love our neighbor as ourselves? We know that when Jesus spoke in this chapter, Mark chapter 12, we know that Everything falls into place when you love God. Your giving falls into place. Your worship falls into place. Your lifestyle falls into place. Everything is automatically falls into place. When you love your God, you cannot say, I love my God and hate your neighbor, hate your family, hate your friends. If you love your God with all your heart, you need to forgive. You need to take not the offenses. 
you need to be kind and loving and sharing and forgiving. So my brother and sister, our Lord God gave it all to you and me. Are we willing to give him a heart this Christmas? Are we willing to give him our all? Withholding nothing. Let us give him everything. Because he gave everything for us. You and I have eternity in heaven because of God's sacrifice. Because of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is done. The veil is broken. A price is paid for. You and I are citizens of heaven, children of the Most High God, children of the Almighty King. So, my brother and sister, this Christmas season, let's think of ways to show kindness. Think of ways to show love. Think of ways to go above and beyond what we usually do. Show love to our God. Show love to our brothers and sisters. God has been so good to me, my brother and sister. Yesterday I found some when I was cleaning. I found some pictures of my my son. My son, I have twin boys. They are 16 years old now. And when they were born, they had to go through such a difficult time. One of them, especially my son Jason. So I found these pictures lying on the ground where I was in the hospital bed. And the time he, me and my husband visited him. And then he came home. How skinny. Look at the legs. How skinny he looks. And look how far God has brought him. He's a strong young man now, 16 years old. Healthy and strong, no medication. God has been so good. God has given us so much. Sometimes I'm overwhelmed with so much gratitude. Let us thank him this Christmas. Let us give him our all. He only wants our heart. He gives us more than we can have or contain. He only wants you and I to love him, to serve him, to honor him, to magnify him. I'm up early today because today is going to be a very busy day. We have church that is happening at the Lakeside Church, Toronto. And then we have a Christmas market. And as well, today is a Sunday school teaching day as well. And it's going to be a busy, jam-packed day. But through it all, Let's remember the reason for the season, reason for this celebration, reason for everything we do. That is to honor our God, honor our Lord Jesus Christ, give him our best, give him our heart. Let's pray. Father, we come to you. Holy Spirit, thank you for your presence. Thank you for your word. Help us to give us everything to you help us to give our best to you not our, not the leftover time not the leftover money not the leftover resources but give you our best give you our all because you deserve it all we love you we honor you we magnify you touch my brother and sister whatever situation they might be in as the widow gave her little, help my brother and sister and myself to trust you in our little. Be faithful. You are faithful. You gave it all. Help us to give our little. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hope this blessed you, my brother and sister. As it's Christmas season, I would like to sing some Christmas songs. So. Let's see, the song that I got is oh. What Child Is This? It's a beautiful song. Let's sing this song. What child is this who laid to rest on Mary's lap his sleep? O angels greet with voices sweet While shepherds watch our keeping This, this 
Jesus is Christ, the King whom shepherds God and angels stay. Haste, haste to bring him praise to bathe the Son of Man. So bring him incense, gold, and wine. Come, priest and king, to praise him, the king of kings of glory brings, let loving hearts enthrone. Raise, raise the song on high, let earth and sky and sing for me. Joy, joy for Christ is born, the faith, the Son of Man. I sang low key because my children and my family is still sleeping. I don't want to wake them all up. But I want to encourage you, my brother and sister, give your best this Christmas season. Your God, your Lord, your Savior asking for your heart your soul and your mind and your strength love him with everything that you are love your neighbor as yourself let us be the children of god this season have a wonderful day share this message with your friends and your loved ones i'm excited as the sun is coming up we will be going to church and having a wonderful day today even though it's going to be a busy busy jam back day it's going to be wonderful. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.